Jesus knew this. Therefore, Jesus knew there is no meaning in arguing in front of them. There is no meaning in proving his innocence in front of them. Because they are not ready to accept his innocence. For example, if somebody is sleeping, we can wake them up. But if someone is pretending to sleep, you cannot wake them up. The same way, these people know Jesus is in, innocent, but they want to kill Jesus. Therefore, Jesus knew there is no point in arguing with them. Therefore, he kept silent. Jesus was silent all throughout. That is called wisdom. So those who have wisdom, ready to yield. Wisdom, those who have the gift of wisdom, you are ready to give up. Give up in the sense, give up the argument, give up certain opportunities, give up certain positions, give up some certain benefits, because this giving up is going to protect you and protect others, and it is going to sort out and bring peace and harmony and unity. Therefore, ready to give up. It's not necessary that I should be in the right highest position. I'm ready to give up this attitude. The next is full of mercy. And you will be so merciful, full of mercy. Those who have wisdom, they will be having full of mercy. They are very merciful. And their actions are always producing good fruits. Good fruits. They only intend to do good fruits. Their behavior, everything will be always resulting in goodness. And then they will have without a trace of partiality, no partiality, even if someone is so best friend of mine. But when I stand and speak to them, I will tell them the truth. Whether they like it or not, I will be impartial, no partiality, without a trace of partiality. That is a sign of wisdom. And another quality is hypoc no hypocrisy. Doing something outside, doing in something else inside. What is inside, that is spoken outside. No diplomacy, no hypocrisy, but truthfulness, integrity. That is called the sign of wisdom. If you have something inside and you cannot sh and you show outside something else, it will not happen. Those of you have wisdom. Praise the Lord. They are reflecting the gifts of the Holy Spirit these days. Yesterday, we, in a short way, the, briefly, we have discussed about the gift of wisdom and gift of understanding. And today, we are going to understand the gift of wisdom in a detailed way. Gift of wisdom. We spoke about the gift of wisdom yesterday. If, let us reflect about the gift of wisdom. Many of you have come to know that you already got the gift of wisdom. And we are going to see in a detailed way. Let's read this word of God. James chapter 1 verse 5. James chapter 1 verse 5. We read like this. The word of God speaks to us. If any of you is lacking in wisdom. If any of you is lacking in wisdom. Ask God. Ask, ask God. God. Who gives to all. Who gives to all. Generously. Generously. Ungrudgingly. And ungrudgingly. And it will be given you. And it, it will be given, given you. you. My dear brothers and sisters, gift of wisdom is something that we all need. If we have gift of wisdom, our faith will become very strong. If we have gift of wisdom, we will trust in the Lord very easily. We all, especially our children, youngsters, youth need this gift of wisdom. Therefore, all the youngsters who are joining in this live streaming right now, I would like to request all of you, pray seriously and ask for the wisdom. Anybody who asks for the wisdom, God will give them surely. The Lord will surely give them wisdom. If you have wisdom, then the majority of your problem will be solved because you will have answers for all your crises that you go through. You will get right wisdom in the right time. That is why the Bible says, if any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God who gives to all generously. He's waiting for you to ask. You just need to ask, sincerely believing, you will get the wisdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 21 verse 15, we read like this. Luke chapter 21 verse 15, the word of God says like this. 
for i will give you for i will give you words words and a wisdom and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict or contradict let's read verse 13 uh, 13 onwards we read like this this will give you an opportunity to testify this will give you an opportunity to testify the lord says there will be a time you will be caught by the people people will be against you you will be persecuted because of your faith people will challenge you people will persecute you we people will imprison you you may have to face lots of trouble in front of the public even your colleagues even your classmates in the schools and colleges and university they will threaten you they will question your faith they will ask you doubts and they will try to put you down will laugh at you about your faith in jesus christ in such situations these such situa- situations are bound to happen it should happen it will happen this happens so that you will you will get an opportunity to testify your faith that is why bible says this will give you an opportunity to testify so make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance you don't need to worry about what to speak and what to say you don't need to worry about it because i will give you words and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict this is what the lord's promise therefore my dear brothers and sisters just thirst for the wisdom god will never disappoint you because you are standing for jesus christ he will give you wisdom let's read proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 we read like this the word of god says like this for the lord gives wisdom for the lord gives wisdom from his mouth from his mouth come knowledge and understanding come, come knowledge and understanding the lord gives wisdom the, the lord, lord gives wisdom. wisdom unless god gives us wisdom we will not have any wisdom the lord will surely gives wisdom we also read proverbs chapter 4 to 7 you know in order to receive the wisdom we should be righteous we should be righteous and we should be holy we read like this the beginning of wisdom is this the, the beginning, beginning of wisdom, wisdom is this get wisdom get wisdom and whatever else you get and whatever else you get get inside get inside praise the lord praise the lord so get wisdom is the beginning of wisdom praise the lord praise the lord let's also read psalm 37 verse 20 psalm 37 verse 20 we read like this but the wicked perish but the wicked perish and the enemies of the lord are like the glory of the pastors and, and the, the enemies, enemies of the lord are like the glory of the pastors they vanish they vanish like smoke they vanish away like smoke they vanish away praise the lord praise the lord thank you let's read verse from uh, 19 onwards we read like this verse 19 onwards praise the lord praise the lord they are not put to shame in evil times in the days of famine they have abundance verse 21 we read like this verse 21 that wicked borrow and do not pay back but the righteous are generous and keep keep, keep giving praise the lord praise so the lord so my dear brothers and sisters therefore let us thirst and pray for the gift of wisdom and the wisdom will strengthen you wisdom will protect you wisdom is everything that we need praise the lord that's praise why the out lord. of seven gifts of the holy spirit the most important gift is the gift of wisdom Let's thank the Lord. Let's listen to this testimony. I'm Raina Pereira from Dubai. Sisters, when we speak about wisdom, the spiritual wisdom, those who are in the world cannot understand the spiritual wisdom. Those who are in the worldly pleasures, those who are in the lustful tendencies, fleshly sins, addicted to fleshly sins, they cannot activate the gift of wisdom. First of all, second those who are in the world for them the wisdom of god is foolishness they won't understand they it doesn't make sense to them they will make fun of these kinds of wisdom so wisdom of god is understood only by those people who are spiritual but at the same time the wisdom of god is truth it brings solutions if you follow the wisdom of god that god gives you there will be solution 
humanly speaking it may not be understandable but still if you follow it you will find the miracle in the lord in in your life praise the lord praise the lord those who are not right with god they will think this wisdom is foolishness for them the wisdom of god is foolishness we read like this first corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 first corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 we read like this for the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of god the wisdom if you follow the wisdom the lord gives you there is 100 percentage of protection and solution but the those who are in the world they will not follow the wisdom wisdom of god because for them it doesn't make sense to them they don't understand it praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus one example for example be holy in your body be holy in your conversation avoid even minute swearing words or bad words so because it will bring protection for your body because most of these words unholy words are spoken in your mouth when you speak in the mouth this mouth is part of your body so when you speak unholy words you are desecrating your mouth and thus you are desecrating your body when you watch unholy videos unholy things you are desecrating your eyes thus your whole body is getting desecrated then your body is going to be losing the protection when we speak this wisdom of god those who are in the world they will make fun of us they will make fun of you because they are already in the body flesh pleasures of the body they may not understand the the meaning of the holiness of the body they will just reject it they will they don't take it seriously and they will just go on doing all the sins in the body only when they are completely destroyed falling into depression destruction all kinds of unho- uh, uh, you know all kinds of hatred revenge and feeling hopelessness only then realize there is something wrong but still they won't realize it is because of the unholiness they have ended up in this situation because wisdom is foolishness to those people who are in the world praise the lord praise the lord let's also read first corinthian chapter 2 verse 4 on, onwards first corinthian chapter 2 verse 4 onwards we read like this my speech and my proclamation my speech and my proclamation were not with plausible words of wisdom were not with plausible words of wisdom but with a demonstration of the spirit and of power but with a demonstration of the spirit and of power verse 5 we read like this next one so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom so that, that your, your faith, faith might rest not, not on human wisdom but on the power of god but on the power of god saint paul always spoke the divine wisdom not the human wisdom that is why the power of god is manifested verse 6 yet among the mature yet, yet among, among the, the mature, mature we do speak wisdom we, we do, do speak, speak wisdom. wisdom though it is not a wisdom of this age though, though it, it is, is not, not a wisdom of this or age or of the rulers of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to perish who are doomed, doomed to perish. perish bible says there are wisdom of this age there are so many people who are speaking wisdom of this age you can see motivation speakers who are speaking so many wisdoms there they are those are the wisdoms of this age wisdoms of this world there are people who are scientists and leaders the political leaders and uh, some spiritual leaders of this world speaks speaks wisdom and those are the wisdom of this world wisdom of this age and at the end the result of this world's wisdom is doomed to perish verse 7 we read really like this but we speak god's wisdom but we, we speak, speak god's, god's wisdom. wisdom secret and hidden secret, secret and hidden. hidden which god decreed before the ages for our glory which, which god, god decreed, decreed before the ages of our glory we speak god's wisdom we speak, speak god's, god's wisdom. wisdom secret and hidden secret and hidden which god decreed before the ages for our glory which, which god, god decreed, decreed before the ages for our praise glory praise the lord praise the lord the wisdom of god it is secret 
it may not be public for everyone it only understand to those people who are open to the wisdom and it is hidden from the public it's, it's only open to the person who are ready to open ready to receive and which god has given it is for our glory if you follow this wisdom th- there is glory was eight we read like this was eight the word of god says none of the rulers of this age none of the rulers of this age understood this understood this for if they had for if they had they would not have crucified the lord of glory they would they not have crucified the lord of glory none of these had this wisdom they all used the word of god you know pharisees sadducees and all they all used the word of god but they did not have the wisdom to understand who jesus is we may all read the bible and understand you will try to uh, read the bible understand and interpret it but we unless the gift of wisdom is given to us we will never come to know the truth i know many theology professors expert in the bible they can by heart they by heart the word of god and they can quote bible scriptures uh, the bible words left and right but they are not even able to help anybody with the word of wisdom they are not able to help anybody to solve their problems and biblically they are not able to help others therefore though they have taken doctorate in the scripture they are struggling to use it in their personal life and also in the others life you are only good for teaching in the seminary or teaching in some colleges or universities these kinds of knowledge but if you if god gives you wisdom it is for the glory of you and also for the human beings that's a gift it's a special gift and if you are ready to ask god will give you for that you don't need any doctorate you don't need any studies you don't need any intelligence e- even with the limited capacity of intelligence that you have the wisdom of god can work through you we know in the book of daniel you know the young man daniel helps susanna when the judges were accusing susanna of some wrong doing then daniel spoke courageously and spoke with the wisdom and found the solution in the problem we read in the book of daniel my dear brothers and sisters this is called wisdom it can come come from anybody even from ordinary people because it's it is coming from god it is not coming from their talents it is not coming from your education it is not coming from your family history or family heritage it is not because you are so good and holy it is just purely it's a gift of god that is why it can come from anyone wisdom praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you father thank you father praise you father praise you father thank you lord thank you lord praise you lord praise you lord there for all those who have wisdom those who have the gift of wisdom they won't be so attracted to this world anymore for them heavenly things are more attractive they find meaning in the heavenly things not in these worldly things worldly things are no more attractive no more interesting for them they know there are pleasures available they know they know there are lots of entertainment enjoyment available but they are only focused on the heavenly things because they have wisdom praise the lord praise the lord so let's examine our conscience and see do we have this gift of wisdom in us if we have this gift of wisdom then we will have these qualities which i will i'm going to speak to you next moment there are certain qualities if you have this wisdom Let's read this word of god james chapter 3 verse 13 to 18 this is where the characteristics of those people who have got the gift of wisdom let us read this passage james chapter 3 verse 13 who is wise who is wise and understanding among you and understanding among you show by your good life show, show by your, your good life, life that your works are done with gentleness that, that your, your works, works are, are done, done with gentleness born of wisdom born of wisdom those who have gift gift of wisdom they will lead a good life they will not enter into unnecessary argument their wisdom will tell them not to enter into unnecessary argument with wrong people and the wrong time because you know this argument will not end in a good way so those who have wisdom 
they know how to move move away from that kind of argument they will be able to lead a good life they will not enter into unnecessary crises unnecessary problems because their wisdom will protect them from falling into unnecessary crises there are necessary crises that they we all go through but wisdom will help them to come out of these situations and wisdom if you have the gift of wisdom you will be very gentle you don't need to uh, you know you don't need to fight for yourself because your wisdom will work for you praise the lord praise let's lord. read verse 14 but if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts do not be boastful and false to the truth those of you who have wisdom they will not have bitter envy and selfish ambition if there is a bitter envy against somebody jealous of someone else you can't accept the other person because you are feeling insecure insecurity insecure because of that person you have bitter envy and sometimes selfish ambition in your hearts and trying your best to be boastful it's a clear sign there is lack of wisdom wisdom is not activated praise the lord praise the lord and verse 15 we read like this such wisdom does not come down from above there are some people who use boasting to establish the authority such some, some people use jealousy because of jealousy they work they use their intellect to protect themselves because of jealousy because of envy because of bitterness such kinds of wisdom does not come down from heaven above but is earthly it is unspiritual it is devilish which kind of wisdom verse 14 once again let's read bitter envy selfish ambition boastful and false to the truth lying these are coming from the worldly wisdom there are some people who are always boasting boasting about themselves there are people who are always speaking false truth and there are speak people who are always envy about certain people feeling insecure there are people always having selfish ambition only thinking about themselves it is a clear sign they are, they may be using their intellect and wisdom but this is not the, the spiritual divine wisdom it is earthly wisdom it is unspiritual wisdom it is devilish this is what the bible says verse 16 we read like this for where there is envy and selfish ambition there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus where there is envy and where, selfish ambition where there is envy and selfish ambition there will also be disorder there, there will, will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind and wickedness of, of every kind. kind verse 17 we read but the wisdom but the wisdom from above from above is first pure is first pure wisdom is always pure it will not come from envy selfishness boastfulness but it is pure in your body in your mind even in your communi- communication your dealings it is pure second then peaceable then peaceable it will never bring dispute among yourself it will never bring envy or confusion it will never create insecurity third gentle gentle there is no more argument shouting screaming attacking hurting but gentle third fourth one willing to yield willing, willing to, to yield. yield willing to yield means ready to give up suppose there is an argument and you feel this is not going to be making sense it is not going to stop you are ready to okay. you are just to surrender ready to surrender okay i agree you know jesus was keeping silence when he was questioned in his last trial jesus was all throughout the uh, trial jesus was silent you know why because these people they are trying to trap jesus they don't want sincere truth they all know jesus is innocent they are trying to find out find wrong mistakes in jesus they don't they all know inside jesus is innocent but they just want to eliminate him jesus knew this 
therefore jesus knew there is no meaning in arguing in front of them there is no meaning in proving his innocence in front of them because they are not ready to accept his innocence for example if somebody is sleeping we can wake them up but if someone is pretending to sleep you cannot wake them up the same way these people knows jesus is in innocent but they want to kill jesus therefore jesus knew there is no point in arguing with them therefore he kept silent jesus was silent all throughout that is called wisdom so those who have wisdom ready to yield let's go back to james we read like this james and james chapter we read chapter 3 verse 17 willing to yield ready to just give up wisdom those who have the gift of wisdom you are ready to give up give up in the sense give up the argument give up certain opportunities give up certain positions give up some certain benefits because this giving up is going to protect you and protect others and it is going to sort out and bring peace and harmony and unity therefore ready to give up is not necessary that i should be in the right highest position i am ready to give up this attitude the next is full of mercy and you will be so merciful full of mercy those who have wisdom they will be having full of mercy they are very merciful and their actions are always producing good fruits good fruits they only intend to do good fruits their behavior everything will be always resulting in goodness and then they will have without a trace of partiality no partiality even if someone is so best friend of mine but when i stand and speak to them i will tell them the truth whether they like it or not i will be impartial no partiality without a trace of partiality that is a sign of wisdom and another quality is hypo no hypocrisy doing something outside doing in do something else inside what is inside that is spoken outside no diplomacy no hypocrisy but truthfulness integrity that is called sign of wisdom if you have something inside and you cannot sh- and you show outside something else it will not happen those of you have wisdom praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus and verse 18 we read like this these are the signs of the gift of wisdom this is how we come to know whether we have gift of wisdom or not and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace so these are the signs of wisdom good character very attractive nature no jealousy and selfishness and envy pure very peaceable gentle bears good fruit righteousness and impartial and always truthful sincere no duplicity and hypocrisy these are the signs that you have the gift of wisdom these are the result of the gift of wisdom that is why in order to live in this world we all need this gift of wisdom to be activated we all receive the gift of wisdom when you receive baptism and it is strengthened when you receive the confirmation but through the baptism in the holy spirit it is released in your life praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's listen to this knowledge knowledge we have knowledge knowledge about, about many things knowledge knows the truth and facts facts and truths knowledge will give us the no- facts and truths but wisdom knows when and how we can apply the truth of god into a particular situation of our life how to apply the truth how to use it wisdom is so powerful in applicable it is applicable for our life which will produce some goodness if we use the wisdom and apply it in our situations there will be correct track you will fall into the correct track of god if you use the knowledge of this world and try to apply it in your life there is no guarantee that you will fall into the right track of god 
but if you use the wisdom of god and apply it in your life situations you will naturally even if wherever you are you will fall into the right track right track of god praise the lord praise the lord there is a beautiful example in the bible where um, this wisdom is used let's read first first corinthian chapter 12 verse 8 let's read first corinthian chapter 12 verse 8 we read to one is given through the spirit the utterance of wisdom and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same spirit okay let's read uh, this passage that is from first kings chapter 3 verse 7 onwards first king solomon asked something in front of god first kings chapter 3 verse 7 and now and now o oh lord my god o oh lord, lord my god you have made your servant king in place of my father david you have made your servant king in place of my father david although i am only a little child although, although i am only a little child i do not know how to go out or come in i do, I do not, not know how to go out or come in see how solomon prayed for wisdom this is exactly we need to pray for wisdom solomon said my father is so great he is full of wisdom and knowledge you blessed him I'm his child but I'm only a small child. I lack a lot of wisdom. I don't have wisdom. I don't know how to re- rule this country. I don't know how to live my life. I don't know how to lead my family. I don't know how to go about. Please help me. I need the basic wisdom to need Lord. So this is how he Solomon prayed. Solomon prays prayed in front of the Lord. You have made your servant king in place of my father david although i am only a little child i do not know how to go out or come in was eight we read like this was eight and your servant is in the midst of the people whom you have chosen all the people whom around me they are all better than me they are all chosen people they are all holy people a great people so numerous they cannot be numbered or counted so many good people so he is speaking out of humility he is speaking humble way asking for wisdom verse 9 give your servant therefore an understanding mind to govern your people able to discern between good and evil for who can govern this your great people so this is what solomon asked for wisdom please give me this understanding to know what is right and wrong to discern good or evil to lead these people and was then we read like this it pleased the lord the so- that solomon had asked this god is so happy when we ask for wisdom normally we all ask for money job salary increase of salary healing miracles wonders but here solomon asked for wisdom this is it was pleasing for god we need to ask this wisdom my dear brothers and sisters let's read verse 11 we read like this god said to him because you have asked this and have not asked for yourself long life or riches for the life of your enemies but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right verse 12 i now do according to your word indeed i give you a wise and discerning mind i'm giving you wisdom and discernment discernment no one like you has been before you and no one like you shall arise after you such a wisdom i'll give you verse 13 i give you also what you have not asked both riches and honor all your life no other king shall compare with you when you ask this wisdom everything else will come along with that verse 14 If you will walk in my ways keeping my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked then I will lengthen your life was 15 Then Solomon awoke it had been a dream he came to Jerusalem where he stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord he offered up burnt offerings and offerings of well-being and provided a feast for all his servants and this is how he he got the wisdom god gave him wisdom because he asked for wisdom when he asked for wisdom he always asked with a humble nature with humility if you ask wisdom with humility the lord will never disappoint you my dear brothers and sisters praise the lord jesus praise jesus praise jesus. 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 Jesus thank you father thank you father those of you who have wisdom 
you are a unifier not a divider those who have wisdom will always unify bring unity wherever they are but will never bring divisions and confusion suppose there are some people talking and they are they are speaking divisive conversation bringing confusion and division but if there is a man of wisdom or a woman of wisdom in that group suddenly they will intervene and will make sure there is no division created but there is unity sometimes if you speak to certain people or certain group of people or certain uh, go to certain family and speak to them at the end of the conversation you come up with some kind of division in your heart you feel some separation from other you feel like keeping a division from a separation from a certain people you will feel will be in your in your community or wherever you are your family will be divided after conversation you feel like hating your family members or friends colleagues or companions or community member after talking to certain people because they are dividers divisive spirit is working no wisdom working those of you have got wisdom if one person in the community has got a gift of wisdom he will never allow any divisions to be entertained in the community but that person will speak in such a way that there is unity maintained praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank, thank you, you jesus. jesus so when crisis comes any decision should be made and when when a crisis comes when the decisions to be made someone who has wisdom knows how to speak god's word any decision to be made in a crisis those who have got with gift of wisdom knows how to speak and how to speak god's word over that situation in a way that moves people toward a uh, unity and peace praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus that means the gift of wisdom will turn everyone towards jesus suppose there is a confusion in everything but those the person who has got a gift of wisdom knows how to speak the word of god in such a way that everyone will be united to one point one uh, focus praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus and you know this kind of uh, wisdom turns everyone to jesus all arguments will be refuted if there is wisdom if you lose wisdom sometimes even if you have got the gift of wisdom if you entertain sometimes if you entertain worldly wisdom that will destroy you for example solomon is such a mighty powerful wisdom and he had such a mighty powerful wisdom but later his human wisdom told him if you get married to certain king's daughters you can have peace with them you can have unity with them if you married the egyptian no, the king's pharaoh's daughter then egyptians will be good with you if you marry this country and their daughter then they will be good to, with you so he started marrying all the pagans and all the gentiles all the daughters of the kings we read like this first king chapter 11 verse 11 onwards first kings chapter 11 verse 11 onwards we read like this the word of god says therefore the therefore, lord said to solomon therefore the lord said, said to solomon so, since this has been your mind since this has been your mind and you have not kept my covenant and you have not, not kept my covenant and my statutes and my statutes that i have commanded you that i have commanded you i will surely tear down tear the kingdom from you and give it to your servant i will surely tear the kingdom from you and give it to your servant was 12 we read like this yet for the sake of your father david yet for the sake of your father david i will david, not do it in your lifetime i will not do it in your lifetime i will tear it down tear it out of the hand of your son i will tear it out at the hand of your son and was 13 we read like this i will not however tear tear away the entire kingdom i will give one tribe to your son for the sake of my servant david and for the sake of jerusalem which i have chosen praise the lord praise the lord because he entertained by falling into wrong relations with so many gentiles women and at the end he started worshiping other gods because he used the human wisdom he forgot the divine wisdom until then god protected him when he was using the divine wisdom when he started using the human wisdom he lost the protection his kingdom was divided praise the lord praise the lord this is the tragedy that happened to him praise the lord praise the 